one of the guys who started the whole action, the whole campaign of demonstrations of getting organized, Fürstling of Straat, is now an organization for refugees on the street. We have a meeting in the afternoon to decide, to show what you need, what you want to do. Can you brief us on that? Can you tell us what you have? Um, actually, uh, I've been in the Netherlands, uh, since 2004. And um, the most part of my life I've been in, on the streets here in the Netherlands. Uh, before we were struggling, uh, everybody was struggling alone. And uh, from last year we decided that because we were so many uh, people are being kicked out of the, of the RCCS, uh, because uh, they cannot be returned to Somalia. And everybody knows that it's very difficult to return people to Somalia. Uh, so they decided to put people on the streets. And uh, we decided to form an action group uh, so that we can, uh, in togetherness, at least do something. And we succeeded. We did uh, several demonstrations. We started in Utrecht. And the first one was uh, in July. We did a small demonstration in Stark House Utrecht. And um, the second one was in, uh, in uh, Den Haag. That was on 29th of September. And uh, it was very successful. And the third one was again uh, in Terra Apple. That was the, the first group in Terra Apple. And uh, when they were arrested, we did another dem demonstration in Utrecht. And uh, again, after that, uh, we did another demonstration in Terrapol that was in uh, that, that was on 26th of September, or for December. And uh, we are continuing to struggle to do more demonstrations to, to, to unite these people, actually. It's not only the people from Somalia that are actually in this situation, although uh, we are the majority in the group now, but we have so many people. We have people from Armenia, from Afghanistan, from Iraq, from Iran. Uh, we have so many uh, nationalities in Flotry of Ostrad. It's not only about so many people, we, because we share a common goal. We are all on the streets, uh, we are brothers uh, suffering together, we are all on the streets. And uh, we think that uh, we should not, uh, uh, in, if, you, if you fight alone, you cannot reach anywhere. We should fight in togetherness, and that's also what we are doing now. We are a very big group, actually, uh, from every country. We have actually uh, organized several people with, with several uh, organizations from Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Nijmegen, uh, Emmen, everywhere. And uh, it's for, uh, the fruit of is for all nationalities. Coming back to the point of Somalia, so uh, the Somalis... That, that is the real vision of organizing all nationalities, all refugees on the streets together to make action, to pressure for rights basic human rights. Exactly. Uh, but what we are asking is of only people to have a basic human rights. When we come back to the to the point of migration uh, or refugee, we didn't start a refugee and uh, we expected that people run from learn from experience. And uh, it started from from where human human beings started from. That is from Adam. Adam was uh, in a refugee he was a refugee in the earth. He was sent from heaven to the earth. And it's, it's in the Bible, it's in the Quran, it's everywhere. And uh, as you go by history, uh, almost every prophet migrated from where he was because of the problems he had. And uh, uh, people will be migrating, people will be moving until the end of the world. It's not... Uh, the Dutch had a lot of problems in the First World War, in the Second World War. They had the hunger, the hunger AU. People suffered and we expected that the Dutch people uh, that they learn a lot of experience from this, so they should not accept people to survive their own country. When you leave somebody at this extreme where on the streets, somebody has nothing to eat, somebody has nowhere to sleep, and uh, you are just uh, staying in your house uh, and, and you think uh, uh, nothing about. I think we are human beings. You suffered before us, we are suffering now. So you sh it's better what I could say that uh, people to think about us, to help those people on the streets. Uh, to see how these people can be helped, actually, uh, should not accept people to be to be to be put on the streets. Okay, thank you. I think this is clear message, and I think that everybody understands very well what we are fighting for. Can you repeat the message, please? Uh, the message is basically very simple: help us fight for our life in honor. Help us fight for the rights, and if we work together, we can make a difference. That's what you've proved. I want to know exactly where we are. So Marianne, 
and maybe you help her. Can you tell us what is the situation right now? We have 56 people in Ter Apel waiting. For what? We have 20 people in Fürth. They're all represented here. And we have Mustafa organizing. What is the situation for the Somali people on the streets? What is the perspective? But what is the situation right now to start with? Marianne, can you do that? These people are still waiting. They're waiting for a solution. They're waiting for a solution from this government that they can the people in all this. Until, until, now, until now, they only reached their inside. And that's it. They have, they have a roof above their head. That's it. They're still waiting. And what are they waiting for? To have a life like, like you and me, like everybody. Mm -hmm. like, like the rights, like, the same rights like the people mm -hmm. in all. Yeah, I, I know of those who live in Taraba, 56 people who live in Taraba. So next week, we, as they told us, we will wait the interview. So With IND? With IND. Yeah. So might be that interview, but we don't know what happened, what they told us. But we we hope that we don't want to back in streets, because more than five years, three years, two years, we live over in streets. So we have like that, when they, when they will take interview, might be the next week they will kick off. Start. Or they say go out. Yes. So we, we have like that. So we hope that we... But you know what can happen, so you can think... Still we don't know what happened, but we we know what the IND is doing. They, so, what they mostly do is put you on yeah, the street. Yeah, because now, today, uh, I'm from Tarapal. Yesterday they took out uh, some of Somalians, two persons, they kick out. They say, go and live in street. So we, we are afraid that. Yes. And we are one of the, we are the group, or the, the group 56. of Somalians, 56 who live in Tarapal yeah. right now. So you talk a lot about what you can do when that happens. And what kind of help you need. Can you we, tell me? We, uh, we want to fight. Uh, for example, we, we need help. We need uh, to help us to to to, st to stand for us because we don't want to live in streets. What kind of help? To to give us or to, to make us a new demonstration. A, a new demonstration. Yeah, a new demonstration. Okay, where? In Tarabal, Den Haag, whatever. Can you do, you do it here? You is not help. It's right. Yeah, that's right. our rights. Okay. We need what we human can need. We so, are human. Okay. What kind For of example, help? What kind of help do you need to organize a demonstration? In, in any kind of demonstration. Okay. I ask the question to everybody because we all have experience in organizing demonstrations. What? Who can contribute to organizing the next demonstration? Any ideas? Please come here and tell us about it. Uh, adding adding on, on the point of helping us on demonstration, uh, we have a blog, uh, blog spot uh, that is a floating abstract at blogspot.com uh, or a floating abstract on Facebook. Uh, you can uh, check there. We ask for help from there. Uh, we all, all the time ask for tents, for blankets, for every help that we need. We actually write it on the blog spot and, and on the Facebook page. And we need more people to join us because. Uh, when there are so many Dutch people uh, that are watching, then it's not easy for them to come uh, and, and do something or arrest people. <coughs> Mariana was there in Triapol, and uh, she she left her children at home to come and stay with with, with, with those who were demonstrating in Triapol. And uh, actually, uh, until they came and arrested everybody there, and uh, you know they were trying, she was trying to keep a vigil eye because if if nobody is there, there's no Dutch, if there's no Dutch uh, people who are with us on the demonstration. It's, it's, it's very simple for, for them to do whatever they want. But when they know the people who are watching it, then uh, it's a little bit uh, different from when nobody is seeing what's going on. So okay. we need more people to come and join us on demonstrations to help us. Okay. And we thank those who want to demonstrate in, in, in Rotterdam, in the prison, when uh, the, the first group of 19 people were arrested in Rotterdam.